Mullen County turns 200 years old this year. Local leaders have had events planned all year long to celebrate the milestone. Recently, possibly the biggest event of all took place on the Scottsville Square as country band Diamond Rio held a free concert. We've certainly been planning for about 16 months and so uh, we're finally glad to, to put that plan together and uh, we've got uh, everything we can control covered. Certainly the weather is not uh, under our control, but uh, we feel like we're going to make it. So, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good day to finally get here. A lot of work, preparation, a lot of people involved, not just myself, but several committees and different uh, companies that have supported this financially. So we're uh, excited that it's finally here. And talk about just the crowd that you're seeing already. We're about three hours or so before Diamond Rio actually even hits the stage, and yet you've got a huge crowd here already. Right, and, and we were expecting a big crowd. We think maybe because of some of the weather issues, it may be a late arriving crowd, but uh, you know, I've heard anything from three to five, 6,000. So uh, whatever it is, it's certainly a free concert, and we're celebrating 200 years for Allen County. So uh, we hope you have a big crowd, and everybody has a great opportunity to uh, enjoy some good music. She's so Tell me, why did you come to Scottsville today? Uh, because of Diamond Rio. It's a free concert. <laughs> <laughs> what about their music do you like? Uh, that they're original. Uh, they're one of the original country music groups, uh, not like the new groups now. So it's it's going to be fun. My mom, and she says that she really likes it, and I said I'll go with her. Have you ever heard Diamond Rio music at all? No. So what are you expecting? I'm expecting they're not going to be like new groups. They're going to be like old timey groups. Are you okay with that? Yeah. yeah. So you're an old fashioned guy at heart. Sometimes. Tell me about, about this day and how neat of an experience it is for someone who lives here. Uh, it's pretty neat, you know, a big band like uh, Diamond Rio to come to a little town like Scottsville and uh, for all the support from the town, you know, making it happen. Oh, it's, it's really exciting for me. I mean, I, I've, I've always been a big fan of them in Rio, and uh, I always wondered what happened to them, but to hear them come, they're all back on tour now. It's to come to Scottsville, you know, and to be able to do it for free, you know, for the fans, you know, it's, it's really awesome. How did you come up with this idea originally as far as just having a music concert to, as part of, this, of the 200-year celebration? Well, uh, we just wanted to uh, certainly do something that stood out through the year to, to make that our signature event and uh, just wanted to try something that maybe uh, to this level hadn't been tried here before or hadn't in quite some time. So uh, we took that challenge on and uh, there's been some times along the way I wish we hadn't have, but, uh, <laughs> but anyway, we're here today and uh, you know, this is a culmination of, of uh, 16 months of work. So we just wanted something a little bit different and something that we could provide for the people at no charge. Uh, maybe join some good entertainment and uh, have a hand in celebrating our 200 years. And celebrate they did. In addition to Diamond Rio, four local bands also relished in getting the chance to perform their music in front of a big crowd. Mend your own fences and own your own crazy. Mind your own biscuits and life will be gravy. Mind your own biscuits and life will be gravy. A successful event, to say the least, in spite of the rain. Reporting in Scottsville, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.